Okay, so in the previous video, I showed you how to select a MOSFET footprint for your MOSFET and capture CIS. Now I'll show you how to associate this footprint with the part in capture. So in your capture project, double click on the part, or if you have multiple parts, you can select all of them. Make sure the parts tab is selected on the lower left here. Then scroll to your right until you find PCB footprint. What do you put here? You need to type in the name of the footprint that this actually is. So let's find what this was. We chose place components manually, advanced settings, library is selected. Make sure that's selected. Then under the packet symbols, GDS, we chose SMSOT 23 GDS. Okay, so that's SMSOT 23 GDS. Hit enter, and now the footprint is associated with the component. And that's really all you have to do. When you go into your project then, and then choose to select the tools option and create netlist, and then you choose create or update your printed circuit board, you can then, let's see here, choose the open the board in ORCAD PCB editor, and click OK, and that's fine. Now I don't have any uh, ground planes or you know, no power or ground or anything like that, but I do have one footprint associated with the part that I have here. Let's see if this will actually go through. Ah, uh, it did not. Uh, maybe because there's no ground or anything like that. But if we go to Place Components Manually, and in Components by Reference Designator, and then select Q1 from Capture CIS, notice how when we select it, it click Hide, and then zoom in. We might have this problem. Pin numbers do not match between symbol and component. Run dev underscore check on that. So what does that mean? The pin numbers do not match. Well, I'll show you. When we had our footprint open earlier, you click cancel. Notice that the pin number is actually G and the pin number here is S and D. So we have a problem here. These pin numbers do not match with the numbers that are actually on the uh, part here. There are two ways to fix this. You can change the pin numbers in Capture CIS for the part in this library, which I do not recommend generally. Or you can change the pin numbers on the footprint, uh, which I also do not recommend because it's a standard library footprint. Uh, so what you can do is modify this footprint to make a new one or create a new one from scratch. I'll show you how to do uh, modified footprint in the next video.